Like chasing classic cars, Bitch In Rides is all about the process of restoring automobiles. But unlike chasing classic cars, where the cast went to find old vehicles, in this show, cast members will design and remodel the vehicles as per the client's request and turn them into a one-of-a-kind. Bitchin' Rides also instantly gained traction among viewers since the first season in 2014 and rose to become one of the most popular series on Velocity. Interestingly, the show is known as Bitchin' Rides only in the US. It is referred to as Salt Lake Garage in the United Kingdom and as Kindig Customs in other parts of the world. Since the show is all about building the client's vehicle, it's fair to wonder what the average cost of the cars that are built is. Everyone agrees it depends on the car and how much restoration or remodeling is needed, and the cost varies depending on it. But it's safe to assume that it will surely reach six figures. Moreover, there is also the waiting list which can reach up to 10 years, so if you are planning on giving your car there, be prepared to put additional sum because by the time your vehicle comes up, there's bound to be an increase in cost due to inflation or other matters. For now, our best estimation of the average cost is around $200,000 to $500,000. This money is spent on the car's required parts, employees salaries, and other miscellaneous things. With the cost out of the way, you might wonder how long it takes to build the car. Typically, the build for the custom order of a car takes around 9 to 40 months, and the team works on 6 to 22 cars simultaneously. As for the painting of the car, it is done within a week, but preparing the car for the paint job is a whole other world. That process alone takes around 1,500 to 2,000 hours, which is around 5 to 8 months. Kindig is regarded as having one of the best craftsmanship in terms of custom cars in the world. A journey that Dave Kindig, the owner of Kindig It Design shown in the Bitch In Rides, started in June of 1999. Since then, it has gained a prestige reputation among car lovers and has risen in popularity. It has become so popular that the company even has its own dedicated clothing that many loves. Unfortunately, this has also given ideas to bad guys who decided to impersonate the company's apparel. Numerous people fell victim to this and were scammed out of their money. This problem became so severe, the company had to put out an official post on its Facebook account to warn its fans. Three years prior to these fakes popping up in 2014, Kin Diggett filed a lawsuit with Creative Controls, a Michigan-based company. Allegedly, Creative Controls stole Kin Digg's patents and products and is being sued on this ground. In response to these claims, Creative Controls asserted that their site only offered self-made products. Aside from these issues, Creative Controls was also accused of using copyrighted images without their permission. However, later they did reveal that the Kindigit team gave them the go-ahead to use those images via letter. In the end, the court ruled in favor of both companies, ending with nothing happening to anyone. So yeah, this simply just ended up wasting their time, and the lawsuit officially ended four years later on January 22, 2018. Did you know that a competition was held to seek out a talented individual to have him work at Kindigit Design? As a world-renowned company, they wanted only the top individual, so they decided to hold Bitch in Boot Camp in 2020. Their eight contestants with a passion for cars competed against each other to win the spot as the full-time employee of the Kindigit Design. The competition was even aired as a TV series, with a total of seven episodes. It started airing on May 2, 2020, and ended the broadcast on March 14, 2020. It was revealed that Frank Finelli, a muscle car builder with a strong passion for automotive, ultimately won the competition and secured himself a spot in the Kindigit design. He formerly served in the U.S. Army and restored tattered muscle cars in his free time. He was very skilled at it, which was why he was referred to Bitch in Boot Camp by a talent agent. After winning the competition, he began working on the company's key projects and soon gained the nickname Finelli Finesse due to his unique style and key attention to detail. And that's it for the video. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you like the video. Do comment on what your thoughts are about the show.